On the right, we have the infamous 6.5 Creedmoor, and on the left, we have the slightly less popular 7mm Odd 8. These cartridges have a pretty similar case, but as you can see, the 7mm Odd 8 is a little bit bigger, meaning that it's going to have a decent amount more muzzle energy. Both of these cartridges are excellent long range options, but which one is going to penetrate the steel at close range better? To do this, I'll be shooting at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch. Whichever one penetrates the deepest will be crowned the winner. I'll be using this 24 inch 7mm Odd 8 setup and this 26 inch 6.5 Creedmoor setup. I know they're not exactly the same barrel length, but it's as close as I have for this testing. This is going to be the ammo that I use for today's testing. If you missed the last couple tests then you definitely missed the new testing device that I've been using. And here it is in all of its glory. Each one of these different slots is for the different thicknesses of steel and as long as the steel is wide enough to touch both of these posts right here it should be held at the exact same angle every time. Also I almost forgot to mention that I started using this safety shield right here made out of solid steel quarter inch flats. And to show you its safety capabilities I'm going to be shooting 10 22 LR bullets at it to simulate multiple ricochets. So there you go, there's 10 more bullets to prove its safety. Unless it happens to go through this window right here, then that would be a pretty bad day. We're gonna go ahead and stick with the standard protocol. A quarter inch mild steel plate is up first. These cartridges should at least be capable of quarter inch. I guess we'll go ahead and start with the 6.5 Creedmoor. No problems here, clean pass through. Now let's go ahead and step it up to that 7mm odd 8. And there we go, it almost looks the exact same as a 6.5 Creedmoor. Quarter inch? I think we all expected them to go through that, but how's about we step it up to a real challenge? And by a real challenge, I mean this 3 8 inch plate right here. I'll be completely honest, there have been a lot more cartridges that struggled with the 3 8 inch plate than I would have thought. So let's see how these ones do. Looking through the scope, I honestly couldn't tell you if that one went through or not, so let's go check it out. Well, I'd say it definitely went through. That is pretty dang impressive. Now let's see if the 7mm Odd 8 will do the same. Indeed it did, it went straight through as well. I'm pretty shocked to say it, but I guess we're moving all the way up to half inch. Fair warning though, I've literally not had a single cartridge penetrate the half inch plates yet, so I'd be really surprised if these ones did. Let's go ahead and check it out though. I warned you, it didn't go through, but it did go pretty deep. I guess it's time to see if the 7mm Odd 8 has enough extra gas in the tank to beat out the 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's go check it out. And the answer is... No, it did not go through, but it looks like it may have done slightly better than the 6.5 Creedmoor. Pretty close one at this point though. I told you they probably wouldn't go through, but let's go ahead and see which one penetrated deeper back at the bench. Because it's time to grind! Alright, now that we got that out of the way, it's time to do some measuring. And if you missed the last video, then you missed this little device that I created to make the testing as fair as possible. Let me just explain how it works. Basically, as much as I like to think that my grinding is perfect, I know that it's probably not, so there's definitely some surface imperfections here. And in order to compensate for these, this device was created so that it could straddle these imperfections and end up on the good sides of the steel. This essentially serves as a good repeatable surface for the bottom of the calipers to touch every single time. It's exactly 0.243 inches, but that doesn't even really matter because as long as I zero the calipers out on a flat surface using this, I really don't have to do any calculations at all. I have absolutely no no idea why I wasn't doing this last time, but I really appreciate everybody that commented and pointed this out. It saves me some math. And without further ado, it's finally time to do some measuring. But before you ask, I did hit both of these holes with a torch to make sure that there was no lead, copper, or other contaminants that could throw off the testing. So I appreciate the idea on that as well.
Well, even with two extra inches of barrel length, that 6.5 Creedmoor still let me down. Guys, I checked multiple times, and the deepest point that I could find was 0.302 inches, which isn't necessarily bad penetration, but compared to that 7mm Art 8, it's not the best. The deepest point that I could find on the 7mm Art 8, on the other hand, was 0.378 inches, which is almost exactly 25% more penetration than the 6.5 Creedmoor. That's pretty crazy. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, 0.302 inches, that's nowhere near 3 eighths of an inch. But what I found on mild steel plates, at least, is that if a bullet penetrates a certain depth and has enough leftover energy, rather than doing a clean pass-through, it'll actually shear out the back of the plate, making a little steel cup, which you may have seen in one of my previous videos, and it's pretty cool if you can actually find it. But if the mild steel plate is actually big enough to absorb all of this energy, then you're just seeing the straight penetration rather than a shear through. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.